I know there's not a parent in America who doesn't feel the same overwhelming grief that I do. The majority of those who died today were children, uh, beautiful little kids between the ages of five and ten years old. Okay. So they had their entire Parker. lives ahead of them. Birthdays, the the graduations, that weddings. Lost a child yesterday. Kids are grown. Hook Elementary School shootings here in Connecticut. Okay. So my name is Robbie Parker. My family is one of the families that lost a child yesterday in the Sandy Hook Elementary School shootings here in Connecticut. Things go out to so many people. As the deep pain begins to settle into our hearts, as the deep pain begins to settle into our hearts, as the deep pain begins to settle into our hearts, as the deep pain begins to settle into our hearts, we find comfort reflecting on the incredible person that Emily was and how many lives that she was able to touch in her short time here on earth. Emily was bright, creative, and very loving. Emily was always willing to try new things other than food. She loved to use her talents to touch the lives of everyone that she came into contact with. She was an exceptional artist, and she always carried around her markers and pencils so that she never missed an opportunity to draw a picture or make a card for those around her. I can't count the number of times Emily noticed someone feeling sad or frustrated and would rush to find a piece of paper to draw them a picture or to write them an encouraging note. Um, the best way that, I, that I've been seeing that is um, I have two really good friends at home who have uh, set up a, a Facebook page um, to, to help raise money for Emily. To, to help raise money for Emily. And uh raise money, raise money, raise money, raise money, raise money, raise money. Lights, 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 yeah. Died for Egypt, what a waste of time. The white ones, the red ones, some you can't disguise. Twist the truth and half the news, can't hide it in your eyes. 